Greetings, my fellow Fright Fiends, and thanks for dropping by Boogeyman Ben's Horror Zone. I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, just uh, today went and saw the newest film in the Conjuring universe as Annabelle Comes Home. This is the third solo feature for the Annabelle doll and the seventh film in the Conjuring universe. This is also the first film outside of the two Conjuring films that features the Warrens. Uh, outside of just cameo appearances in some of the other films. Uh, the film primarily deals with their daughter Judy, um, her being babysat while the Warrens are away, and the babysitter, her name is Mary, uh, her friend Daniela, who uh, has a fascination with the Warrens' occult room, uh, or the occult museum if you want to call it, um, goes into the museum and opens the case containing the Annabelle doll and in doing so against an evil spirit. The film was written by James Wan and uh, Gary Doberman who would also direct. Uh, interesting note is that Gary Doberman will also be writing uh, the Salem's Lot remake. Uh, him and James Wan are working on that one, collaborating on that one right now. Um, for the cast, uh, of course you have uh, Vera Farmiga and uh, Patrick Wilson returning as Ed and Lorraine Warren. Their parts are very um, small in this one. Uh, they pretty much have, not cameo spots, but they're featured pretty much uh, at the beginning and at the end of the film. They're not the main focus of the film. Uh, the main focus of the film is their daughter, Judy, who is played by McKenna Grace. You also have Madison Eastman, uh, who plays Mary, uh, Katie Sarif as Daniela, and then Michael Cimino as Bob. So with the Conjuring films, uh, they've been hit and miss for me. I didn't see uh, La Llorone, uh, which I regret. I wanted to see that one in the theater, but I didn't get a chance to. The Nun, I had a few issues with, but re-watching it a few weeks ago, I actually enjoyed it a little bit more than the first time. The first Annabelle film uh, wasn't the greatest. There were some parts to it I thought that were really effective. Otherwise, I thought the main focus of the film, the main actors in the film, were a little bit boring and I just really couldn't get uh, behind them because I just didn't think there was anything interesting about them. I thought Annabelle Creation was a big step forward. I thought it was a much better film and very scary. Um, I was curious what they were going to do with the third Annabelle film because I didn't know how much further they could go. When you have the first two films that pretty much establish where the doll came from, uh, where could you go now once you know the Warrens had acquired the doll at the beginning of the film The Conjuring and this one seemed to be picking up from that. So it's not taking place after The Conjuring 2, it's taking place in between The Conjuring 1 and The Conjuring 2. Uh, this film was one I was really anticipating uh, seeing. I thought it looked really interesting. I love the, uh, uh, the occult museum and the whole idea behind that these things are being used as conduits for evil spirits, that they have them all in this room, that they're blessed, that they make sure that no one can get into the, the museum, no one can take anything out of this museum, that it's all protected. It just goes, takes me back to my uh, fascination with not only collecting, but also Friday the 13th, the series. Um, that was a big uh, television show for me growing up, and I always was fascinated by that show because they were these cursed objects and they had to do, the cousins in that series had to do what they could to get these cursed objects away from people that would use them to do harm. And they would put them away in the vault, and that was the pretty much, you know, the blueprint of what that show was about. And um, the fact that the Warrens had, had done this throughout their lives, um, I was always interested to, to see that being featured more prominently in one of these films, and that's pretty much what this film is. This film deals with one location, it is the Warren's house and the occult museum that's confined to this one room in the house, uh, and uh, what happens when one of these girls opens the case containing the Annabelle doll. Um, I thought this film was a blast. I do think that Annabelle creation was a little bit scarier. But that being said, I do think this film really was well done. It wasn't, I feel like with some of the Conjuring films and with some horror films in general that come out right now, they're constantly trying to get you with a jump scare, get you something that's gonna just sort of throw you back and give you a cheap scare. And while I, I, I understand that and sometimes I think it works really well, um, sometimes it can be overdone, which is what I had originally a problem with in the movie The Nun. Here it was done very minimalistic. I thought it was a lot more going back to what I love about The Conjuring films. Not only was having Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga coming back to these roles very refreshing, it was really nice to 
see a director like Gary Doberman take his time with setting up some of these things that are going to give you chills. And there's some terrific tension filled moments. Also, I love the cast in this. The cast in this was fantastic. I thought everyone did their parts well. Initially going into it, realizing that the Warrens were probably not going to be in the film as much and that this was going to be focusing on the young daughter as well as the babysitters, I was worried that it was going to become very, you know, kind of cliche, like we've seen this before. But I think the heart of this film was in its performances and everyone did a fantastic job. You understand the motives that lead to the Annabelle doll being let free out of the case. Uh, I thought it was really well done. It wasn't just somebody going in to you know, play a practical joke. There was there was something behind it and I really thought it was a really interesting story and a really interesting motive for why someone would want to go in there and, and be and be around the stuff that is supposedly cursed. I really just enjoyed this film so much. Uh, it's probably my favorite, it's my favorite film after the movie Us this year. It, it really surprised me about how good it was and it stayed with me after seeing it. Like I said, I think Annabelle uh, creation scared me a little bit more, but this one had a lot of, it had a, a very good balance. It had terrific performances, it had a really good story, it had a heart to it, and there were some really terrifying, truly tension-filled moments that really got under my skin, really got, really, really scared me. Excellent job. Um, probably my, after The Conjuring 2 and The Conjuring 1, it's probably my favorite film in the franchise. I look forward to The Conjuring 3, which is already filming. So if I had to give this one a uh, rating on my scale, I would give Annabelle Comes Home five scales. So that is it, my fellow fiends. I hope everyone enjoyed this review, uh, talking about Annabelle Comes Home, the seventh film in the Conjuring universe. Um, if you guys have seen the film, uh, let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, I would be curious to what you guys thought about it. if you enjoyed it as much as I did if you didn't like it That's fine. I, I don't really consider myself a movie reviewer I'm just someone that loves horror movies and uh, I was looking forward to going to see this and I went in Completely with you know, no expectations just uh, wanted to be taken on a, a fun ride and enjoy um, you know getting scared and uh, Seeing how the story played out and I was very very surprised about how good it was and uh, Yeah, my wife and I both loved it and I can't wait to see it again and add it to my library of uh, Blu-rays and DVDs so thanks so much everyone for watching again And I hope everyone is doing well and please stay tuned for some more great videos that are coming up real soon Take it easy stay scared as always patreon page if everybody wants to help support me the link is down below and if you do help support me dracula here will get more treats and dracula really loves his treats so any support that you can give me would be very very much appreciated right drac <laughs>